guys welcome back to no catch name it's me ella today i wanted to share with you just a really quick little <laughs> ollie's haul so ollie's is like a what's it called closeout store kind of like big lots and there's some other ones bargain hunt is a closeout store there's a couple other ones uh so they sell things at other stores uh little liquidize is that the right word <laughs> things that other stores don't sell so then ollie's and those other stores purchase them and then sell them Anyways, I think you guys know what that what a closeout store is. So they have yarn a lot of the times. Uh, usually they have random yarn. <laughs> um, my Ollie's has had the same yarn consistently for a while, and a whole lot of the Bluebell. <laughs> Seems like every Ollie's has I have a lot of Red Heart Bluebell, and some other just like the Loop yarn and uh, like fuzzy yarns and stuff. But we went yesterday, and my my Ollie's had a couple of yarns I have not seen before. So I grabbed them. So the first two, I always grab them in sets of two because <laughs> I never know what I want to make with them. But the first one is just a red heart color, like a solid color. So it's a red heart jumbo. I got two of them. And it is called Dark Gray Heather. I liked it a lot because it's, it's a heathered gray. <laughs> I had never seen this in store. And uh, I liked it a lot. So I did get two of them. They were $4.99 each, which is pretty good for a jumbo red heart. So this is a solid, so it's 482 yards. Um, I feel like the regular, the regular colors are higher than that. The stripes and the color pulling and I guess the heathered um, are the smaller balls. The two, 482, and then the like solid colors is like 700 and something I think <laughs> can't remember so it's not as much as those ones but it's still a good hunk of color I think this would be cute as amigurumis and stuff so I grabbed two of those I've never seen that color in person I'm sure it was like in online and stuff and then the other colorway that I saw there was only two balls of this if there had been more than two I would have bought all of them probably because it's really pretty color but it is a red heart super saver color block and it's called rainbow and it also has the two, oh, why am I keep saying two, 482 yards in it. So it's so pretty. It's like bright rainbow colors. I like it a lot. So I did grab two of those. And this is a color pulling yarn. So it does, right here, you can see the scarf. It has like the variegated amount and then a solid color. And the variegated amount and then the solid color. So that's cool. It looks like the solid colors are blue, red, green, and yellow. You can kind of see, you know, the bigger chunks of colors. And then there's the variegated bit. So this, this is going to make some really cool stuff. I have no idea what I'm going to make with it, but I had to buy it because it's such a pretty color. So I did grab both of those. I wish I had been more than two because I like this a lot. But I will look back again. We don't go to Ollie's Super uh, Common. <laughs> but um, I do try to stop in there every now and then just to look at the yarn and the books because they have a really good book uh, selection. And uh, I've never seen either of these two yarns in there before so i grabbed both of them <laughs> i think they're pretty i love how bright that one is and then also that day, the same day i bought a cookbook i'll just show it to you if you want to see it <laughs> so i love all these books um selection they have so many good books i specifically love their cookbooks because they have like a lot of cookbooks and they have a lot of kids books but not just like storybooks but they have like um activity books and then they have a lot of like um not homeschool curriculum, but like um, workbooks. A lot of nice ones, I think. So, but I grabbed this cookbook. It was also $4.99. <laughs> uh, and it's called Stock the Crock. It's 100 must have slow cooker recipes. And it's from Phyllis Good, which is the person who created the Fix It and Forget It series. I remember watching the uh, Fix It and Forget It infomercials when I was a kid. There's Phyllis. <laughs> But uh, it's got a lot of nice looking recipes in it. I already kind of flipped through it on the way home. Me and Devin <laughs> was looking at it uh, driving home. So uh, I love the crock pot. It saves me a lot of um, hassle of having to cook. Actually, I made a crock pot recipe today. The one I made today was chicken and noodles, I think it was called. If I could find the link that I downloaded it from originally, I will link it below if you want to check it out. So anyways, that's my little tiny Ollie's haul. It's not big, but... I'm just trying to use up my yarn stash, but I mean, every now and then you got to add to it. <laughs> so I got these pretty yarns I will add to it. 
and that book and then Jesse got a book as well I feel like we bought something else oh my mom we bought my mom a knife block set <laughs> but um I like all these it's, sometimes it's got good deals sometimes it's does it you know you just have to know the prices from like the main stores and then you can tell whether or not it's a good deal or not but anyways I specifically love going there during Christmas they got a lot of Christmas stuff usually but um yeah that's what I got so I will link that recipe down below if I can let me know what you made for dinner today because I'm always interested and I would love to get new recipes because <laughs> you get tired of making the same things over and over again and also let me know if you've ever had any of this uh color block rainbow and what if you have what you made with it it is so pretty I don't know if I ever I have one more colored block color Devin bought it for me but I don't remember what it is I think it's called fiesta or something like that <laughs> but anyways I'm gonna go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in the video bye guys